All right, we are done in the basement here. I am back right up against the wall, as far as I can go. This unit, it's an old York. It's a non-condensing 95,000 BTU furnace. Five inch flue, five inch T, three inch from the water heater to there. Line sets to be flushed. We're gonna walk around back behind. Uh, behind the unit because there's actually a little more space back here. This is where you come down the stairs. Um, the unit itself, step back here. Uh, 22 inches wide, uh, furnace is 46 inches tall. Uh, between the top of the furnace right here uh, and the supply side, he's uh, 34 and a half inches, which the unit will probably maybe C width, but it's likely going to be a B width which will line up a little bit better with the supply side. There's an old uh, power humidifier that uh, looks like it's been disconnected. Power that was running to it is unplugged right there. Water lines and old piercing valve right there. Drains are in front of the unit. Return on this uh, is only seven and a half by 23. We'll need to do a uh, minimum eight by 26. The width up here on this return is only nine and a half inches, so it may be a case where we have to do some sort of return box. You know, have a return box that kind of sits down in this area. I could do you could do 16 inches here very easily, and still have plenty of space. The one tricky part to that, as you can see, a little bit easier there. This I beam right here is sitting just maybe a quarter of an inch lower then the return box so that may be a little tricky but if we do an 8x26 we can keep this only thing is if we're wanting to do an April air box uh, we'll just have to do a return box so just follow the checklist on that I'm not sure yet what customers want to do uh, there are a couple of return uh, combustible vents there's one down there there's one back over there I don't see any up high but this is also all open over here so it may not be necessary to have a high combustible air vent 